IPv4 design. In this video, I am going to talk about again IPv4 header. And you know that in pre previous video, I have explained the IPv4 header. Okay. But now I'm going to talk about ex specifically uh, about the type of service field. This field, you know, that type of service or TOS is using for the quality of service for giving priority and also for classification and marking in QoS. Okay. Because of that, here we are learning about this field with more detail. Actually, in the CCNA class, I have explained the type of service field with more detail because of that. First, I'm going to show you the video of the CCNA class related to the type of service or TOS. After that, we will uh, talk about the type of service a little more. How we can mark the traffic? What is the field that we can use it for marking the traffic? Let me to talk about this important Okay, for example, question in this part of the video. Look at here. You know that if here we have, for example, one VoIP traffic or, uh, for example, one VoIP packet. After that, you know that we are giving this traffic to the RTP and after that uh, to the UDP. And then we should add the IP header and then the Ethernet header or, or for example, data link he header. OK, this is a frame. OK, we don't have any difference between the frame and also the header in the quality of service uh, courses. Maybe in some cases I'm using the term packet or the term, uh, for example, frame. OK, look at here. In the IP header, you know that in IP header, we have some fields that we are using them until now. For example, in IP header, we have learned about the source address fields or source IP. Okay. Also, we have learned about the destination address or destination IP field. You are using the source address and destination address for the routing of packets. Also, as you remember, I have talked about the time to leave field or TTL, you know, the fun, you know, the function of the TTL and maybe some other fields uh, that you have learned in this class. In the IP header, we have one field. We call it the TOS, T-O-S or type of service. This is the IP header. In IP header, as you can see, we, ha we can see that we have a TOS field. TOS, as you can see here, has eight bits length. 8 bits or 1 byte. This here we can see 8 bits or 1 byte. Okay. What is the usage of the TOS or type of service? This field is using only for quality of service, not for routing packet from a source to a destination. We are using the TOS field for giving priority to the, uh, for example, different packets. Let me to explain it, but don't uh, forget that the function of TOS is in the history of the uh, network. A little is changing. I will talk about that. But f uh, in the first days, the TOS, okay, is used uh, with uh, this eight bits with this, uh, for example, dividing. The first three bits of the eight bits uh, was called the IP precedence or IPP. Okay, let me write here. You know that we have eight bit one, two, okay, one, two, then three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. The first three bits means these three bits uh, was called the IPP. Okay, and other five bits in the first version in the RFC 791, the RFC of the IP was not used and as uh, we, uh, we call them unused. Okay, in the old days, now we are using these bits. I will talk about that. But in the old days, we have used the first three bits as the IPP, IPP or IP precedence. Okay, how we can use the IPP? It is so easy. Let me to uh, talk about that. Here in IPP, we have three bits. Three bits can, uh, for example, give a value between three zero, as you can see here, to three one. Three zero, zero 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 one zero one zero zero one 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 zero zero one zero one 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 zero and one one one. Actually, in the decimal, we can uh, use the IPP for creating 0 to 7 
as the decimal value. If you are using the minimum value, 30, this means that this is the uh, this ha uh, has the IP percent of zero, and uh, three one means the, uh, for example, seven. Also, for each of these IP percents, IP percent zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, and se seven, we have a name. We, uh, you can use the name of the IP percent or the uh, binary value or the uh, uh, decimal value. The name of pre uh, percent zero is routine. The name of percent one is priority. The name of percent pre two is immediate. The name of priority three is flash. The name of priority four is flash override. The name of priority five is critical. The name of priority six is internet for control. And the name of priority seven is network control. Okay, I, maybe you ask me, we should, uh, for example, remember all of these names, I can give you, okay, I can say you, no. It is not needed to remembering these names, because in most cases, we don't use this name. Only if you want, uh, with practice and also uh, with other uh, type of functions, maybe you uh, you remember them, but it is not needed to remember the name of the I precedence. In most cases, we are using the decimal value. Okay, how we can use the I precedence? Let me to give you one rule. This is the rule. Bigger is better in most cases. Look at here. Bigger is better is the rule of using the... Or for example, IP precedence. What does it mean? Let me to show you one simple example. Assume that here we have this network's rotor one connected to the rotor two, connected to the rotor three, and also here in this simple network we have two type of data. The first is uh, normal data, HTTP data, FTP data, or some other type of data, and the second is the voice. Okay, these two packets are receiving by the rotor one. You know that in rotor one, we are using some tools such as the ACL for classification. Okay, let me to emphasize that for classification, beside of the ACL, we have some other tools. For example, we can use ACL or we can use a feature that we call it NBAR. I will talk about the NBAR or network-based application recognition. And also we have some other tools. But in most cases, it's easier to use the ACL. In some cases, we are using the NBAR. I will talk about that, don't worry. But about the here, you know that the ACL and ACL and NBAR and some other things are using for classification, not marking. Let me to show you here, okay? After that, in, in Rotor 1, we are configuring the ACL. With this ACL, we are, I am classifying the data traffic and also voice traffic, okay? You know that we should add the mark to data and to the voice. Assume that now the voice is sending first because the voice has a higher priority and also the data after the, for example, voice. But beside of forwarding the voice first and data after the voice, okay, you, you know that both of these two traffic are going to one IP address, the destination IP address is same. But here in the data, we have, for example, IPP of zero, means zero, 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 three bits of zero, okay? And here in the voice, we have IPP of, for example, one, zero, one, means five. Because of that, in Rotor 2, when Rotor 2 is receiving this traffic, the first traffic and the second traffic, without the need for configuring ACL for verifying the content of data, such as the source IPs, destination IP, source port, destination port, or protocol, the Rotor 2 easily can understand because the IPP or IP presence of this voice packet, okay, has is higher, it should first forward the, the for example, voice packet, after that, the data packet. Because of that here, in the Rotor 2, again, we have classification of traffic, but regarding to the mark, not regarding to the, for example, content of data. Also in Rotor 3, again, we have the same uh, condition and the same rules. Because of that, we can understand that here, IPP is a tool that we can identify, we can mark the traffic, okay? And after that, we can identify the traffic based on the IPP, and then we can give the priority. Don't forget, 
the bigger is better is the rule and it is correct but this is not mandatory why assume that one administrator configure in the router 2 if you receive the ipp0 it has priority to ipp5 okay it can configure it but it is not normal in normal scenarios we should give this is recommendation this is the best practice we should give the higher priority to the higher ipp okay because of that we don't uh, uh, for example need to classify all of the uh, packets in all of the rotors based on the uh, parameters of the traffic we should classify 